Time for another How To Cosplay, but this time it's going to be the final one on the 10th Doctor. Today we're going to be focusing on the irregular looks. The costumes that were only worn by the 10th Doctor for specific occasions and circumstances. So, let's start from the very beginning. So naturally, the first irregular look is the 10th Doctor's pyjamas. And I must say, they do have a rather Arthur Dent type vibe to them. Although one must wonder how he was put into them given that he was unconscious at the time. This was Ten's first unique look after regenerating, and it will forever be associated with the magnificent sword fight above London on the Sigrak spaceship. Now, how to cosplay this? Well, in fact it is quite simple. While the exact pattern of pyjamas will be extremely difficult and nay, impossible to get, it is still just pyjamas, so a standard stripy pair combined with a dark blue dressing gown, and, of course, a Satsuma will see you through, hopefully for cheap. Next up, the Tux. One of the most popular irregular looks, it featured in quite a few episodes which needed the Doctor to get looking fancy. Fortunately, it's quite simple to put together, and you don't have to go out and legitimately buy a tuxedo. A black suit jacket or blazer should be easy to find from any good clothing store, as should a white shirt and black trousers. An absolute must will be a black bow tie, preferably self-tie, but you can choose. But again, that should be common from such places like Next. And also, don't forget that thing that separates this from usual tuxedos, the Black Converse. A very doctorish twist on the James Bond look. Now onto a more technical look. The Sanctuary Base 6 spacesuit. Now this is mostly associated with the Ood two-parter back in Series 2. And of course, the Waters of Mars as well, representing the Time Lord Victorious, as the Doctor well and truly loses his mind. Now, fortuitously, the spacesuit itself is readily available to buy from Hello Cosplay, and it certainly does look worth the money. It's the only version I've seen on the market, so it would certainly save money on commissioning as well. The helmet, however, not so readily available, so that will probably have to be commissioned. Also as a bonus, the spacesuit can be used for 11th and 12th Doctor Cosplays, having featured in the episodes Hide of Series 7 and Kill the Moon of Series 8, respectively. And now, perhaps the most difficult costume of the lot, the tweed suit from the Series 3 two-parter, Human Nature in the Family of Blood. Without a doubt, one of the best two-parters in the whole of the new series, this episode featured multiple costumes for the Doctor, or should I say, John Smith. The one I'll cover today is the party wear version, the grey tweed three-piece suit with a dark brown bow tie with a dot pattern. It's a fairly unique costume, so here's how I would approach it. Texture is everything, so stalk all the budget stores, all the charity stores, and of course, eBay, for any grey or white tweed suit. However, it may be easier and cheaper to go for a standard grey three-piece suit. Make sure to check your local fashion stores like Next. Seriously, I live there. As they usually have great elements for you to choose from. As for the bow tie, the Mrs. Bow Tie version of the 50th anniversary tie bears a startling likeness to it. Okay, well that's it for my How to Cosplay the 10th Doctor series. I hope this has helped you put together costumes of your own for sure. Next time, I'll be covering the 9th Doctor because you mustn't skip 9. So until then, see ya!